Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the KitchenAid 5 Cup Whisking Accessory Food Processor. It comes in this red, black matte, matte white, silver, onyx black, and white. It's 10 inches tall and 7 inches across. It comes with a 5 cup BPA free bowl with a spout and handle. Lid with a hole so you can pour in oil for dressings. This is the drive adapter, stainless steel blade, and the whisking accessory for whipped cream and egg whites. You can chop by sliding the lever to chop or puree by sliding to the right. The power cord is 30 inches and can be wrapped on the bottom of the base for storage. There are rubber feet on the bottom so it shouldn't move around. An instruction manual is included in English, French and Spanish. When you first get the unit, wash the bowl, lid, blade and whisking accessory and dry. Lock is marked on the base to assemble Put the bowl on the base and slide it away from you until you hear that click to lock it in. Put the adapter in, just rotate it until it falls to the bottom. If you're using the blade, fit that over the adapter until it goes to the bottom. If you're using the whisking accessory, just fit that over the adapter and it falls to the bottom. To put the lid on, slide it away from you until you hear that click. There is no on off button, just press down on the indent in the handle. If you want to pulse, press and release it. If you want to puree, hold it down constantly. To remove the lid, just slide it towards you. Take the adapter and blade off. To take the bowl off, just slide it towards you and pull up. First, I'll chop whole peeled garlic cloves, about 10 of them. Pulse a few times. The garlic is even and looks absolutely perfect. That was also done really quickly. Next I'll chop yellow onion. I'm using two medium onions. Whatever you chop should be cut into one inch pieces. That'll give you the best results. You can chop meat in this unit, up to three quarters of a pound at a time. This will hold three cups of processed vegetables, four cups of bread if you want to make breadcrumbs, and two and a half cups of nuts. There are a few bigger pieces, but most of the onions are chopped evenly. If you fill to the top, you won't get perfect results, just like with any other food processor. Now I'll try two smaller red onions. You can see it's filled a little bit more than half. There are a few pieces that got stuck against the side of the bowl. But overall, it's more even than the yellow onion and a pretty good job. Filling the container less definitely makes a difference. Basically, if you're looking for perfection, especially with onions, you'll just need to use a knife and practice. For garlic, this unit will give you perfection. Food processors are convenient and they save time. They're also great when you need to chop large amounts, especially garlic and onions. I've cut up two medium tomatoes into wedges. These are bigger than the recommended one inch but I want to puree these, so no need to chop them up smaller. You heard the sound difference between chop and puree. The noise level is average, not louder than other food processors I've reviewed. Now I'll whip cream. Put the adapter in, then the whisking accessory. You can put in a maximum of one cup of heavy cream and one and a half cups of eggs or mayonnaise oil for dressings. This is one cup of cold, heavy whipping cream. Turn the lever to puree and run for about 30 seconds. I ran it a little over 30 and came really close to making butter. 
I would definitely check at 15 seconds and continue for a few more and check. Now I'll try some walnuts. That's a cup and a half. The lever's on chop. Don't use this chopper to grind hard things like coffee beans or nutmeg. This is a coarse chop. If you want it finely chopped, of course, just pulse a few more times. The nuts on the bottom almost always will be a finer ground than the rest of the nuts. It's a decent job comparable to other small food processors. This is a good size to add to a crumb topping for something like apple crisp. To clean, the bowl, lid, blade, and whisk accessory are top rack dishwasher safe, or you can hand wash them in warm soapy water and dry. I generally hand wash right after I'm finished using it. Wipe the base down with a damp cloth. To store, place the blade on the adapter and then the whipping accessory. This unit is five cups and it's a good size as most smaller food processors can't hold too much. I've already reviewed the KitchenAid three and a half cup food chopper, so if you wanna see that, I'll put a link in the description below. Just like with any food processor, the more you fill it, the less even the result is gonna be. So if you want onions to look absolutely perfect, then you have to get a larger food processor like the 14 cup Cuisinart. There's plenty of room in that to get everything even. However, that takes up a lot more counter space. If you're looking for a smaller food processor that doesn't take up too much space on your countertop, this KitchenAid is a good option. It's reasonably priced and you saw that it processed everything pretty quickly. If you wanna try out this KitchenAid five cup, I've put a link in the description below. As always, I hope this review was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. 